Well, it's a wonderful good morning because I am talking to Jan McNeilan. Good morning, Jan. Hi. I have my uh, my mask. <laughs> good for you. Well, we're so far apart, we don't need it right now. No, but I got but, it. But, you know, everyone is home and they're so excited about working in their gardens. And so you really have some interesting information. And let's talk about these birds first. Well, um, it happens and it's probably happened to others as well. Um, a, a robin was sitting on my rear view mirror of the car and um, roosting on there and then would flutter right into the front of the mirror and and shake and make tap the mirror and then go back and sit there for a while and do it again and do it again. A neighbor of mine has the same thing happening on a window where this robin is pecking really hard. And what it is is uh, territorial mating right. season, getting you know getting someone's attention. And it, it'll slow down. Actually, it already has here. Once they build, made and build a nest, um, they'll stop doing it. But it's kind of a unique thing. I mean, especially seeing the bird pooped all the way down the side of my car. And that's when I noticed it had been there. So anyway, just a fun thing. Well, we're home to notice things like that. So it's interesting yeah. to know that they're not sick or anything. It's just normal no. mating season things. Right, exactly. And then you have some interesting experiment that we could do with our soil texture. I love this idea. Well, um, it's called, a, it's a sh jar it's shake, uh, soil shake. And what you do is you fill, you fill a jar about halfway up with soil and then with water and mm -hmm. then shake it a lot. I mean, quite longer than you want and then let it sit for a day or two. And you'll see the sand, the silt, the clay, the water, and then on top will be floating organic matter. Okay. So I did three of them uh, yesterday, and it wasn't the you can't see the water. It should be clear when it shakes out completely. But you you can look at the percentage of clay, sand, low, and, and know whether or not it's a loamy soil, a sandy soil, a clay soil. And keep in mind that clay soils are very nutritious. They're pain mm -hmm. sometimes. Uh, but they're a very nutritious soil, and there's a soil triangle that you can take a look at and uh, know what the percentage, based on what the percentage is in your jar, you'll know how much is it, is it half, is it a third, is it a tiny bit, a fourth, and you can look on that soil tri triangle and know what kind of soil you have. Right, but right. What you want to do, too, is uh, know how much nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus you have. Right. You can do pH tests and know what the pH of your soil is. Um, lawns grow at six or seven. Uh, uh, the uh, vegetable garden is around six, and your ornamentals are usually lower because we have pretty acid soils. And so, and then to kind of go on to another subject, you noticed um, some budworm already on a. I oh. did. Ah. I did. Uh, amazing. Uh, a budworm was eating on a on a primrose right next to a geranium, and it was pink. They're always that's why they're hard to see. They're the color of whatever they're eating. Hmm. So they were eating off of a pinkish primrose, but that's really early for budworm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So keep in mind if you see any frass, it looks like ground pepper uh, on the leaves below where they are. You can maybe you can find them. Um, I tossed him under the hedge of the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> and But you can start with Captain Jack's now as a preventative, too. Yeah, I mean, there's one. there's other things that you, you can do, but I was just surprised to see one this early. Right, right. So if you if you call up your um, independent garden centers, you, you would get that recommendation for um, probably Captain Jack's, which is organic. It's a spinosad, right. which is a bacteria. Right. And then I love that um, the OSU Extension has put the vegetable module online. So can you talk about that? For a little well, bit? they can. For It's free. And, right. and so other modules are not. But the vegetable one for this year, because it's so popular a topic, mm -hmm. that it's not free on the Master Gardener website. Yeah, that is great because I think everybody is out there. You could put in your early spring garden and get ready for the tomatoes and the warmer season vegetables. But... Um, we all have that time and we right. will get going on that and get right. good information from extension. Right. Yep. And anything else while we're, we have just a little bit more time? No, I think that's it. I don't think we have much more time. <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on Zoom and um, being with us kind of um, in the social distancing and have a good month and we'll see you next right. month. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.